Hey everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you for tuning in. Your support really means everything to me. So if you're really supporting, make sure that you hit that subscribe button, hit that bell button so you know when I upload a new video and you leave a comment so I know you're showing me some love. Today, I really just wanted to talk about how you can live your best life without caring about what anybody else has to say about it because I know I can get stuck in that mindset I know you probably get stuck in that mindset too so let's just talk about how we could literally just put a stop to just caring about what other people think and living our own life path that is meant for us from God what the universe wants for us and what you want from your own self you need to make sure that you're making yourself happy first don't care about what anyone else might think about something that you're doing if it makes you happy do it and make sure that you're putting your own thoughts and feelings about it first i can't tell you how many times i double thought or triple thought about what i was doing just because someone else had a negative view about it definitely my mother <laughs> so it's important when your mom makes a face at you when you're gonna do something or even actually tells you what she thinks or whether it be a friend uh, your father or anybody make sure that you're listening to yourself first and you're not allowing anything that anyone else has to say matter in your final decision if you know that it'll make you happy then do it even if everyone around you is saying that it will be the worst decision of your life that worst decision of your life may be the best decision because you'll have the greatest lesson of your life so follow your heart listen to your soul and let them guide you towards what you want to do don't listen to any outside noise instagram and social media can make you want to compare yourself stop comparing yourself <laughs> There's always gonna be somebody skinnier, stronger, smarter, prettier, whatever the case may be. So just stop looking at that Instagram model um, and appreciate you for who you are. Look in the mirror and tell yourself you're beautiful. Affirm to yourself that you're intelligent. Let yourself know that you're the greatest thing ever. Now there's a difference between pride and loving yourself. So make sure you don't cross that boundary, but make sure that you're filling yourself with that love of self so that you can be more confident in the decisions that you're making and move through life more confidently and headstrong so that you can be making decisions that make you so, so happy. And if it comes to it, you might have to delete Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, or any other social media outlet that you think is affecting you and making you feel less than or that you're not doing enough in life. Because at the end of the day, your only competition is you and looking at those other people will do nothing for you but make you feel down and low and I mean... There's no worse feeling than feeling like you're not doing enough in life. You're always doing enough. You're always in the right place, doing the right thing, because that thing will get you to where you need to be or where you want to be. So make sure that you're not letting social media influence your life, your thoughts about yourself, your mental health, and delete it if you need to. Don't live for anybody but yourself. We can fall into habits that make those around us happy and not ourselves. So make sure you check in with yourself. Make sure that you ask yourself, am I doing this because my mom wants me to? Am I doing this because my best friend wants me to? Whether it be going out to the movie theater, I'm not sure how many movie theaters are actually open right now, but whether it be going to the movie theater, the mall, or going out to dinner with a family member or a friend. Make sure you ask yourself, is this something I wanna do? 
And if you don't, you don't have to go. If that person feels hurt or angry that you're doing something that you feel is right for you, like staying home on a Friday or Saturday night and watching a Netflix movie, let them be mad. Do what you want to do. There's nothing wrong with that. Of course, if you're going to cancel plans, let somebody know a little bit in advance. But even if it's 10 minutes before, yeah, that's kind of annoying. But don't even worry about it. Because sometimes we don't know that we do or don't want to do something until right before. So if you're not feeling good, spiritually well, mentally well, or even physically, you don't have to go. Don't do anything that you don't want to do and listen to your soul to get that answer when you're unsure sometimes you need time to sit on your own and really think about it especially if it's a big decision give yourself that time to sit down in your own space in silence or with some music and really really listen to your soul and what you want to do follow that and I'm telling you in the end you'll be living the best life that you want to be living at in that moment there's no doubt about it if you're truly listening to yourself and taking steps to do what you want to do there's no way that you won't be joyful and happy so listen to that voice inside of you listen to yourself in every step in life and just make sure that you're doing things that make you happy I really wanted to hit on this point right here. Everyone, when it's December 31st, and maybe December in general, wants to say, oh, this new year is coming. It's gonna be a new year. It's gonna be a new me. Or, you know, I'm turning over a new leaf. Becoming a new person. It doesn't have to be about that. First of all, it's not even really a new year. The new year is in spring. Do you see anything living right now? What about now says that it's a new year of renewal and life? There's no life in the winter. The true new year starts in spring. So that's number one. Don't, don't even stress yourself about being something beyond, way beyond what you are now, right now. Just take those steps to get there, of course, but don't stress yourself. It doesn't have to be all about go big or go home, new year, new me. Do what you can each day to get closer to who you would like to be. But make sure that you're happy every step of the way. Enjoy the process, melt into the process, absorb the feelings, the thoughts, emotions that are involved each step of the way because all of that will make the journey all more worth it and the actual goal very much worth it so just enjoy it every step of the way and maybe this year is all about healing to you we had a crazy last year and who's to say that this year will get better i personally hope that it will but who knows um there's a lot of healing that may need to take place for a lot of us so maybe it's a year all about healing 365 days of renewing yourself and making sure that you are where you need to be mentally spiritually emotionally maybe even financially and so make sure that you're making decisions for yourself regardless of whatever anyone else may think that will make you happy and that will get you through this year and push you to be the best person that you can be and remember you're at the right place right now right time you're doing what you need to be doing to be who you want to be and so just rest in that fact feel certain in that fact and just keep taking steps to be where you want to be and I guarantee you if you're happy with what you're doing and every step of your journey the end goal the you know end point will be amazing and so walk confidently in the direction of your dreams and just continue pushing I know it might be hard but it'll be worthwhile just make sure that you're making decisions for yourself and that you're happy every step of the way see you next time thank you for watching Thank you.
Pretender. 